Hey guys, welcome back to Travel Kids Tribe, and today I am doing another tutorial. This time it's going to be on Ibis Paint X, my favourite drawing tool on Android. And I don't have anything on Apple, but this is downloadable for free on the Android and Apple Store. There are some paid features, but you don't need to use them to make good art. So when you first click on the app, you'll see the daily ranking, loads of awesome and talented artists. And you'll also see three options. Today we'll be exploring the My Gallery option. So here you can see all the drawings you do when you do them. If you have not done any, then just press this pl plus button up here. And you can choose different canvas sizes. They all vary in how many layers you can have. Or you can even make your own. Bear in, mind, bear in mind that usually the bigger it is, the more layers it will, uh, the less layers I'll be able to have, so that's a bit of a shame, but that's just the way it is. I usually go for the HD size portrait up here, though you can flip your phone or tablet around to make it a landscape, but I generally prefer the portrait. This takes you on to a nice blank canvas which you can twirl and swirl around with your finger. There are several different tools down here that we'll be exploring first, and then I'll show you a bit of what's by here. So this tool down here to switches from the brush to the eraser. I'm just going to erase all that there. And then this tool over here shows you all different brushes that you can have. As you can see there are some with the locks, you can purchase them um, to use them forever or you can watch an ad and use them in around a 24 hour or 18 hour I forget um, period of time. So that's cool for people with internet. Generally I use the felt tip pen soft as I just think it has a nice finish to it. You can also toggle the thickness of it by here and the opacity of it by here. But you can toggle those two over here as well, so I can make it really small by making it 7 pixels, I can make it really big by making it 146. And here the opacity is down a little bit, so I'm going to put it on full. And there's some differences. Generally for sketch layers, I recommend using 3.7-ish pixels, as it just looks nice for sketches. This button right here, as you can see, is the undo button, and this is the redo button. If you are really concentrating, then just put this down and you won't be able to see any of these distracting things. But here this little box of black is where you can choose your colours. I have a very big colour palette as I enjoy experimenting with them, but at the start you'll only have some of these, which is a shame but oh well. To get new colours, simply look around the colour wheel, find something you like, and then drag it down to an empty space. I'm going to be using this colour. It's a nice colour. Now onto some of the tools over here. And then after those I will show you how to do the layers on here. So here we have the transform, which only really works once you've drawn something. So let's draw something by here, just a little squiggle. And then we can use the transform to move it around. This is with the magnifying glasses on, and you can also add the rotate, which lets you rotate it, or take one off, and... So it's a, it's a pretty cool tool. Also, a tip I would like to add here is I very often like, press this back button here instead of the undo to get rid of something. And whenever you do that, it'll take you back onto the menu where all your drawings are. So that's one patch I don't really like about it, but apart from that, I think it's a pretty awesome map. So here you can go to the eraser and the brush if you don't want to use down here. There are several different options to do that. By here you also have the smudge, which obviously smudges things, and the blur, which obviously blurs things. You can also use the bucket tool. So you can just make a closed space. It has to be closed. If it has even a tiny bit open like this, then it's kind of like water. All the colour will just flow out. So here you can choose the colour for your bucket, I suppose I will just go with a darker blue, and then it just fills it in. I think it's quite a good bucket considering most buckets in these types of softwares tend to have very pixelated edge, so that's quite nice that it hasn't got so much pixelatedness. 
down here you can add text by tapping. I'll just type something random like KP, <laughs> I don't know. And then you can just press tick and you can make it bigger or you can go back into the menu and toggle with it how you please. Down here we have the eyedropper which is an absolutely amazing tool. Maybe you have a colour or maybe you're blending some colours. I, I, I'm not blending right now but... <laughs> And then you just get the eyedropper and go over here and it'll just make that shade for you, which I think is really cool. And then you go back onto the brush and boom, you have that shade. Speaking of blending, I'm going to teach you how to blend for just a moment or something that I find helps with blending. Which is the airbrush tools over here. They are obviously, as it says in the name, airbrushes, but they are really nice for shading or blushes or just blending in general. So I'm going to go back to a normal brush here. Another thing you can do is layers. Over here you'll see different types of layers. If you know what they are, then you know how to work them. But if you don't, then let me just give you a quick run through. So layers are basically where you can have two different, I suppose, sets of drawings. The layer on the top will always be on top of anything that's underneath it. And vice versa. In Abyss Paint, to make a layer invisible, you just click this eyeball here, and you can no longer see it. Going on to a layer, you can also toggle the opacity of the entire layer, which I think is pretty cool. And over here you add new layers, and here you can import photos from your gallery. To delete a layer, just press this trash can button over here. There's also one last layer feature I would like to show you before we end the video. And hang on, let me just add a new layer. There we go. Which is the merge layer. As you can see, these are both completely different layers, but if you press this button here, that almost looks like a download sign, then you can merge them. Like that. Pretty cool. This one flips it horizontally, and this one flips it side to side. And this one is like the transform, where you can just move stuff around. And when you finally finish with your drawing, <laughs> not the most talented, but oh well, you just press this back button here, it will load and then it will be added to your gallery. You can also title them by clicking this information button here. You can show the artist and the description, tags, title, and you can even watch it, which is really cool. So, thank you very much for watching this basic tutorial of Abyss Paint. I will hopefully be doing more of these in the future. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. Comment to share your thoughts and feelings. Subscribe for more awesome content. And I will see you all later. Bye!